Follow the Hustle. You get it, dude? Uh -oh. Hey, well don't be embarrassed. I'm gonna go in the garage and wrap some orders real quick, okay? You mean wrap some orders? I'll be right back. Okay. Have fun, I'll be in the garage if you need me. Wait, wait I have a question. What? Have a question. What's your question? No, you can read. Reading down. You just watch TV. Reading down. I'll be right back. It's only gonna take 10 minutes. Hey Google, lights on. All right guys, so we're here in the garage and we have four, I believe four last time I checked, which was a few hours ago, maybe more than four, hopefully. We have four Merchant Fulfill orders to wrap right now. They are all books. If you guys follow me, you should know I normally do only Fulfilled by Amazon, but we're doing some orders so we could meet our criteria for seller Fulfilled Toys and Games. It's too late. If you don't know about that, don't worry about it. But this video is gonna show you how to wrap, how to Merchant Fulfill, how to deal with orders. If you list books at home on your Amazon seller, account and you keep them at home and you just sold some items and you don't know what to do this video is gonna cover all that I'm gonna show you the whole process of how to wrap an order on Amazon and get it ready to go to your customer right so the whole process that's what this video is so let's get into it first thing you got to do is log into your Amazon account so you're gonna go to sellercentral.amazon.com go to your home page and in the upper left hand side you can see your orders and remember I said it was four last time well check it out now guys so we have seven unshipped orders now and you can see right there it says view unshipped orders click on that so after you click on that the next screen that comes up is the manage orders screen and we're specifically looking at the fulfilled by merchant or the stuff we got to deal with right now and the unshipped ones. so let's look at some of those now so you see the manage orders page you see seven unshipped and then you see the orders right there and here's all the information that you see the SKU that you have which helps me find out where it's at see the end of the SKU says b2 that means it's in box two obviously you could be a lot more specific than that so let's go ahead and look at the actual items we got here so we sold the signature of all things and most of these books we're actually probably losing a little bit of money on just so that we could make the merchant fulfilled sell don't worry about that because the purpose of this video is to show you how to handle the orders. so we got that one they say I say lost Odyssey someone knows my name things that matter authentic happiness and my own world so it's important to go through and look at them and then read the titles and you got to go grab them off the shelf so just familiarize yourself with them a little bit and then go grab them wherever you have them stored hopefully with the SKU encoded with the location like this one B2 and not all of these ones have it it looks like we neglected to put that in on some of them here's another B2 here's another B2 and here's another B2 so we'll be all right Right, we'll find them all right so let's go grab them so that we can package them and get them shipped off to customers so like I mentioned earlier we don't do a lot of merchant fulfilled stuff normally we're about a hundred percent if we could be hundred and ten percent FBA we would be so normally a hundred percent this is a very small portion of what we're selling so small that it actually is only two boxes at this point box one and box two so let's go through these let's find these items of course we packed it a little bit much this is just how we're doing it right now because it's not very efficient. The signature, I believe that was one of them. Someone knows my name, things that matter. So here's authentic happiness, there's another one. Someone knows my name, things that matter, authentic happiness. So I think that's it for those three. You gotta get them all out, right? Because you can't see them all at once, you can't really search for them. There's one, I already know that one. Boom, gotcha. All right, got the last one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All books in one video game. Let's make sure that game's not scratched or else I'll have to run it through the machine real quick. It looks like it's a two disc game. Let me check this out. Oh man, oh there's mad discs here actually. Whoa, hold on a sec. One, two, three, three discs. Decent, decent. 
decent don't really need to clean those there's four discs damn that's a lot of discs all right so the next step for these books here in this one video game is to package them and get them ready to go to the customer but don't seal them up yet because then we won't know what's inside and who goes what but basically take them to your shipping station to your computer go look at the manage orders and then you can do it one at a time if you want or for more efficiency you can pack them all but don't seal them up yet that way you know what's what still and then you can go through all at once and and do all the shipping but it is very easy and I'm gonna show you that right now first thing you're gonna do go to your first order up here click buy shipping it's gonna load what you're gonna do is you're going to go over here to click packaging you're gonna click add a new package and then here you're gonna put all the information and then click add the length the width and then the weight and then you're gonna be able to purchase postage and it's gonna print you know, automatically right out of your printer as long as you have the Amazon print software and extension set up and installed. So let's do that real quick. So this is brown packing paper. I would normally use bubble mailers. I just don't have any on hand. So I'm gonna take brown packing paper and we're just gonna roll it in brown paper. Okay, you don't want it to stay super nice and neat. The air trapped inside of the imperfections is what's gonna protect it, right? So then I just take that and I'm just gonna throw that into a bubble mailer. And I did just call this a bubble mailer even though it's a poly mailer. So that order is done, right? So let's go and put this on the scale. So this is one pound, 2.6 ounces. So here on Amazon, we're gonna go to packaging, add a new package, and we're gonna say it's about 10 inches long, eight inches wide, and about two inches thick. We're gonna click apply, and we're gonna go to weight, and in weight, we're gonna put one pound, 2.6 ounces, and we're gonna choose USPS bound printed matter, which is 285, right? And then over here, we just click buy shipping and watch how quick this happens. Then you take that and put it on the package and you're ready to drop it off at the post office. Let's do that. So that's the basic process. Now I'm gonna have to repeat it six more times to get the rest of these packages shipped out. But there is a little bit of nuances depending on where the customer lives to where you live, the options that Amazon offers for shipping will vary because they want the package to arrive to the customer in a timely manner. So I live on the West Coast and if my customer was on the East Coast, I would probably have to do priority shipping which would cost me like almost seven bucks. So there's a huge difference in this package which is going to someone in Washington costing me 285 for brown bread bound printed matter versus priority mail. But enough of that talk, let's get the other six packages out because I gotta go to the post office. Another thing I've been doing, it kinda actually makes me feel pretty good, is reusing these. So Amazon sends me a ton of packages. I get a lot of returns, surprise. If you're an Amazon seller, you're gonna get some returns. And I get a lot of these, and instead of just throwing them in the trash because I don't even think they're recyclable, I just reuse them. So in this situation, I gotta make sure that I get my address label cut off of it. You don't wanna send a customer a thing with your address label on it so cut that off peel that off but then just stuff the books in here fold it over then throw that in a poly mailer that way we're at least keeping the books safe and we're reusing this stuff getting another use out of it so I don't know you might think that's kind of dingy or whatever but it's not a new expensive item I'm sending to a customer it's a used book the book is good I feel like they're used to seeing these things and I just want to reuse them because I have a ton of them so don't judge me one pound 7.6 ounces so let's see what shipping options it gives us here we still got a bound printed matter option which is awesome for us we're stoked because that's only 313 you can see the difference 755 for a priority mail padded flat rate envelope which is what's going to be required with some of these orders i'm sure and again as soon as you click buy shipping your label just pops right out
11.3 ounces. Again, it's the exact same process. You're gonna click add a new package here. It's pretty much the same exact. This one's a little shorter actually. We'll do five, 10, and it's thinner. We'll just do one inch. We'll click apply, and the weight is actually a zero pounds, 11.3. That's the packaged weight. You can see it right there. And then we're gonna click, it says over here, 275 charge for media mail. In first class, which would be much faster is 396, but I'm in California and this customer is only in Arizona. So media mail is gonna be quite fast for them. Not worth paying the extra $1.25. So click buy shipping. Boom, the label comes right out. This is a Dymo 4XL printer, by the way. Peel the label. Stick it to the package and another one. This is a big boy. These ones are perfect for this technique. You want to slide it in this way and then fold it over on itself. Let me show you. Like this. And then we're going to slide it into the mailer after we folded it over nicely. So what that looks like is this. Fold it over nicely. Heavy book in a reused mailer. Fold it over. Slid into the poly mailer. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to stuff it in there real quick. I'm gonna put a little extra piece of tape on this one real quick here. Now we're gonna take it to the scale and weigh it. I bet you this weighs two pounds. Nope, one pound, 11.7. Let's double check that. One pound, 11.5. Close, oh, I was touching the screen. One pound, 11.7, we'll do 0.7. So again here, add package, length 10. So put the package size in, click apply, put in the weight, which is gonna be one pounds, 11.7 ounces. It gives us bound printed matter, so 278. We're gonna buy that shipping, and then you can see right away again, boom, label comes out, clockwork. Peel the label. Keep a trash can under your desk for those labels. Boom. Put it on. That's four down, three more to go. Just these three right here to go. This is a much smaller package. Only weighs 9.7 ounces. Let's take it over here to the computer and put some information here. Zero pounds, 9.7 ounces. Add new package. Uh, we're gonna say four inches by eight inches by 0.5 inches. Then we're gonna click apply. I'm gonna hopefully hope for no whammy. This one's actually going to Los Angeles. So USPS bound printed matter 271 or first class for 385. So you gotta say God bless for that bound printed matter, which is now built in to Amazon. So go ahead and click buy shipping. The label comes out. Tear it off. Come back over to your package, which you have resting on your scale. Peel your label. Throw the trash under the desk. And then actually I'm gonna put this over here on the seam just as a little added extra protection. And that's five, just two more to go. Hold it over real good. Poly mailer, so it's protected. Make sure we get it nice and tight. This one should be pretty light. This is that Xbox game. 7.6 ounces. It is four discs though, so I mean, it's heavy for a game. 7.6. We're gonna do add a new package. The length is gonna be 10 by 8 by 0.5. Apply. This one's a little further. It's going to Illinois. So you can see, even though it's light, it's not gonna give me the medium mail option. And we're gonna have to go first class on this one. So 363 for that bad boy. One more to go. One pound exactly? Come on, yeah, right. One pound, just over one pound. One pound, 0.1 ounces. And check it out, guys. We got hit with the ultimate bummer. Because this order is going to Florida, I'm gonna have to pay $6.95 for a priority mail padded flat rate envelope. What a bummer. Like I said, merchant fulfilling books is not my forte. It's not something I've done in the past decade. Even though I've been selling books for 15 years, we very quickly transitioned into 100% fulfilled by Amazon 
one model. So a lot of stuff has changed that I'm unaware of. And currently now we have our pricing template on free so that we can compete with everyone and also makes repricing easier. But I think I might have to, for merchant fulfilled stuff, make a different shipping template for the Eastern region and then charge them a few bucks to make up for it because that's kind of a big hit. Instead of three bucks, have to pay seven bucks, more than 100% more on shipping. So yeah, we're actually gonna take this out of this now. We wasted our mailer, we shouldn't have sealed it up and then throw it in a priority mailer and I'll show you how to do, <laughs> and I'll show you how to do that. Blah, I can't talk. The one good thing that comes out of this is that I get an opportunity to teach you guys about free priority mail supplies. All right, so these things, check it out. The United States Postal Service has free supplies that you guys can use if you're using priority mail. There's priority mail supplies and then there's also flat rate priority. So this is a flat rate padded mailer or envelope or whatever you wanna call it. And these are like seven bucks or just under seven bucks to send anywhere that the United States Postal Service sends to. And there's even discounted international rate. But there's all kinds of other stuff, boxes, medium size box, small box, shoe box, all kinds of stuff. So definitely look into the website and the USPS website. Look at all the different free priority mail supplies they have and order some to your house for free. Don't get too many though. I did that before. Just make sure you know how many you're getting. Okay, so we got the mailers, the mailers. We actually only need one, so clean that up later. It's very simple. These are padded mailers with self seal on them. Take your book, put it in there. If you can fit it like this, try to get it like this because you can always fold it over and you can get a little bit more protection in it. So check it out, watch this. Let me shimmy this bad boy in there because it just barely fits. It's like the perfect snug fit because then you can fold it over like that. See what I'm saying? So you're getting an extra, at least on one side, a little bit of extra bubble. And then, voila, wrapped up and ready to go. That's why you should have bubble mailers. I'm just out of stock of bubble mailers right now. Probably should have waited to make this video. So yeah, priority mail, flat rate padded mailer. That's already chosen. We're gonna buy the shipping. It's coming out right now. Here comes the shipping. Put it on your package ready to go. So now that all seven packages are done, let's go to the post office. Let's just, let's go drop them off. Hey Google, lights off. Wait. Hey Google, lights on. I almost forgot I got to mail out an order of pins. Did you guys know I dropped a limited edition pin set? Super dope, breezy limited edition pins. Check those out, limited edition, 100 each numbered, etched on the back, super dope all around. Limited, but I'm gonna send one out. Shout out Dave Knopp, who purchased two of the thrifter pins. So let me get that packaged up real quick. Oh, so here's the stock. Just realized there's a shipment here, an outgoing FBA shipment. Four boxes here, good work, Willie. Shout out Willie Thebo. I think that's how you say your name anyways, bro. Good work. These are flipping, slipping. These are scan everything. Resist pins. The thrifter pins. Hold on, let me grab two of them. These are pretty cool. These are lock backs. Way better than the basic rubber back on a pin so that the pins can't fall off of your jacket or whatever you put them on. And I include some of these with every pin. So the pins have two posts, so I'm gonna throw four of these in with this order. The cool thing about the pins being numbered, every single pin is numbered one through 100. And if you get number one, you get a free one hour consultation with me and some Reezy merch, a hat, a shirt. You just gotta claim it. And I have no idea who's gonna get it. I don't even get number one. I don't get to pick because the pins are sealed in the packages and you don't get to see the numbers on the back until you open them. So there's four pins, each pin, there's a hundred of them and I'll never make them ever again, ever. So catch them while you can. Yeah, we putting handwritten notes in every order. What? Handwritten notes in every order. Because we care. Because we care. Ooh, this one weighs like nothing. Look, three ounces. The selling platform that I use for the pins, not for all my merch, but just for the pins, something that I wanted to do transactions and I didn't want to pay any fees to a platform like Etsy or whatever. I'm using Big Cartel and that cost me $10 a month, but I don't like printing postage through there. So I'm printing postage using Pirate Ship, which if you don't know what that is, look into that. So basically copy the address from Big Cartel, print the package in Pirate Ship, then take the confirmation number and paste it into Big Cartel 
That way the customer gets an email with a tracking number and then this is gonna go with the Amazon packages to get dropped off at the post office and those packages that you just saw that are outgoing FBA shipments to Amazon, those are gonna get loaded up and dropped off at the UPS store on the way to the post office. So great little shipping video we got going on here. This is Pirate Ship. If you don't know what it is, you should know what it is. Get ready for a big surprise. Boom, we're printing shipping labels. This is a cheap scale that I actually got at the Goodwill. It just connects with the computer with USB. I think it's a stamps.com scale. Yeah, it is a stamps.com scale. I think it only does five pounds max, but it works great for little packages. For merchant fulfilling books, it's great. So since this is Reezy Merch, it gets a little special touch. One sec, hold up. <laughs> Gotta hook it up with the branding, always. That way you always know your Reezy Merch incoming Reezy merch blow so now those are all the packages that we're going to take to the post office eight packages total plus the five boxes that are over there ups store i knew these gamestop bags would come useful just enough to fit in there but if you have a lot you're gonna need a much bigger bag maybe i should get some Reezy bags made what do you guys think Reezy mail tote bags actually forgot i gotta load these up into the car let me grab the keys real quick all right so gamestop bag check now let's go get those big boxes those four boxes are actually pretty heavy those are all just about 50 pounds 46 47 48 pounds because they're all books and you want to always put up to 50 pounds is the maximum you could put so you want to get close to that so you can get the best inbound shipping rate with amazon for the ups inbound shipping disc we got to drop these things off get in the car luna get in see you in an hour basically right now it's free Two hours. An hour and a half. Yeah, basically. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Have fun. You too. Alright, so we just got to the post office. I have an hour and a half while Luna is at art class. If you guys don't know, we homeschool. So this is one of the extracurricular things that we do outside of the homeschooling is art classes. Pretty cool. She makes some pretty awesome stuff. But we're at the post office now. We're gonna grab that bag of packages. Boom, GameStop back. We're gonna take this thing in real quick. We're also gonna check the P.O. box, which might have a ton of stuff in it. Who knows? Hello. Just dropping off some packages. All right. P.O. box time. All right, not too bad, not too bad. We got some yellow sheets. Okay, let's close her up. We got a uh, shipping returns thing. I don't know what that is. That's never good. At least one package to pick up. At least two more packages. So I think we're gonna have three packages to pick up. Looks like we got three packages, three parcel thingies, two boxes, and this was a, uh, a credit card. Supposed to be dropping packages, and instead, I'm actually acquiring packages. So this is a package from Gabe Casio. I'm not gonna open it right now, but I just wanna point that out right there. It says, orale vato. <laughs> it also says, if you ain't flipping, you slipping. Follow the hustle, flip long and prosper. What's up? I don't even know what's in here. I really want to open it though. A few moments later. All right, I'm gonna open it. For all I know, it's nothing cool anyways. It's just like some work. We'll see. No offense, it could end up being the coolest ever, but we'll see. We will be the judge of that. Oh, packing peanuts, or whatever you want to call them. So we got Cafe La Llave Espresso. What, what is this? Is this like Cuban coffee? Another Cafe La Llave. Does this mean it's the key? The key, La Llave. DJ Khaled, major key. All right, so we got two of those, and what? We got a mocha pot by Sedanos. It's a nice little mocha pot. This is actually really rad, Gabe. Thank you very much. I've actually never made coffee using a mocha pot, so maybe I will make coffee using a mocha pot. I mean, I definitely will do it, so I'm assuming that's what you want me to do here is make a coffee in the mocha pot with the major key coffee here, which is like a kind of against my coffee religion because it's already like pre-ground and everything and it's packaged. 
This green brick does look tempting. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much, Gabe. Shout out Gabe. I'll put his Instagram right here if I can remember that. But let's go to the UPS store. Gotta give Gabe a shout out real quick on Instagram. That was uber solid. Appreciate you, bro. So I was just minding my business, opening my P.O. box, and got a little care package from my boy Gabe Casio. Uh, what up, bro? So I got me a mocha pot. I've actually never made coffee with a mocha pot. And apparently this is the key. Cafe La Llave. I'm not 100. I guess, is this Cuban coffee or something? Nuestro buen gusto no cambia. I don't know, but we're gonna try this. I'll make a video about this. Mocha pot, coffee, la llave. Thank you very much, Gabe. Back to your regularly scheduled program. I'll check it out, we're filming a vlog. We still need to drop off these. One, two, three, four, four boxes. But let's go get the dolly. They got a dolly. So don't confuse these with the orders that I dropped off at the post office. This is inbound Amazon FBA shipments with UPS postage purchased through Amazon deal. It's deeply discounted. It's like 50 cents, 25 cents, to 50 cents a pound depending on where your shipment's going. Let's go get the dolly. <laughs> so there's the shipment. I'm gonna wheel this in. There's no way ever I could absolutely film that well. Headed into the little cafe real quick where I hang out when Luna has art class. Supposedly someone special is gonna meet me. I wonder who it could be. Jalapeno cheese bagel. Say hello to the first thing I've eaten today. 4.30, first thing I've eaten today. A jalapeno cheese bagel with eggs and pepper jack and bacon with some tapatio. What's up? What are you coming to go here for? You just showed up. Huh? I told them you were coming. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Guess what guys, mom is here. So that's the end of this video. <laughs> Time to go. Like, comment, subscribe. What are you eating, my? That's mine. Oh, so good. That's why she married me, so she could steal my sandwiches. I did half of that. All right, hopefully this was useful for you guys. Let me know if you appreciate this video in the comments. See you on the next one. Stay saucy. You'll get strangled to death as I mangle your flesh. Lights on, night car, which angle is best? I put you in the frame and let you hang with the rest. Call it photo finish as we diminish your last breath. And if the sad bit is the day of the Lord, then my style of rap is like the way of the sword. Better sharpen your blade, I'm coming straight for your door. I see the devil in your